the civil A surface uh, is a uniformed, disciplined uh, auxiliary uh, force uh, under the government. Now we have uh, more than 3,200 members. So in general, our, our duties are made, uh, generally divided in two flows. One is emergency services, and the other is public services. So for the emergency service, so we have the emergency call out team. So they are responsible for any emergency. When we receive the call, the team will dispatch. And mostly they will uh, perform the evacuation and rescue job. The second part is about the mountain search and rescue team. So in case of emergency or people in need, in need of help, so this team will dispatch to the, uh, to the, to the mountain rescue and then we are, will help and assist uh, the other emergency service to perform our duty for mountain search and rescue. So this team also stand by uh, at Sunday and public holiday. So uh, whenever they, we receive the call, we will dispatch out. In particular, recently, uh, we help and uh, assist uh, the government flying service in case they receive the mountain rescue call they will also uh, let us know and let us join them to perform the rescue task, okay? And the other is about uh, during typhoon season and whenever there is a flood rescue required, so our crew will dispatch to a different areas such as the low-lying districts or the shorelines, for example, in Taiyo, okay? So we'll dispatch our crew to Taiyo uh, to evacuate the residents and try to help them. And the other part is that now is, uh, now you will find that people like to observe the typhoon in different spots. So now we are also sending our regional teams to uh, advise the residents and the people not to not close to the shoreline and awake from the typhoon spots. So that is our uh, word for the typhoon and flood rescue team. We also have a countryside firefighting team so in each, every, in each year, uh, starting uh, in October until the, uh, April next year, we will have a team of regulation firefighting team standing by at our headquarters. In case they're in need, so we will assist the fire, assist the fire service department to fight against the vegetation fire. So that is for the emergency call-out team. The second part is about the public service. So uh, during a major festival or major events, we will also send a team for cloud management to maintain uh, the public order. Uh, the other side, we also send our team to the countryside to patrol and give advice uh, to the hikers, that is to let them know the safety. So that is in general our job uh, for the people in Hong Kong. So for the younger generation, we have three folks to train them uh, to, to be a better people. First of all, it's about leadership, okay? Apart from uh, uh, helping them to learn, learn more about uh, the leadership skill, how to do team management, we also provide outdoor activities, such as hiking, or for example, uh, swimming courses, or in others, camping, to let them know more about their living uh, styles, Apart from that, we also train them on the use of unmanned aircraft systems to uh, tell them how to operate the machine. We also train uh, the youngsters to use about uh, the virtual reality training to let them know how to design the program. The second part is about uh, to train them to know more about the civil responsibility. Uh, the CAS also joined with other government departments as well as other organizations. So to let the youngsters, for example, to visit the, the, the elderly hostels, to let them know how to serve the elderly. And we also uh, train them on mountain rescue and other emergency rescue techniques, such as uh, first aid uh, and other CPR training. Okay. The third part is uh, to help them to learn more about the sense of belonging to our motherland. So that is quite important. Uh, before we have invited uh, instructors from the Correctional Service Department as well as the police force. They come, come to us and 
teach our younger generation how to use the Chinese style fuzhou as well as the fat raising uh, techniques. So nowadays we have trained more than 30 uh, youth uh, generation in, in our cadet corps to be the, the trainer. And now they're going outside to other different primary and secondary school to this kind of training job. That means to help the schools, uh, the students know how to uh, Chinese style for Drew as well as flat raising. So that is our training to the youngsters. We have a special scheme, what we call the special talent scheme. The purpose of this scheme is to help the ethnic minorities. So you may know that due to the language or cultural differences, it may be difficult for the youngsters and the ethnic minorities to integrate in the community. So we are now providing training to these youngsters to train them about the communities. So what can they do for the communities as well as uh, emergency response as well as what to do in case of emergency arises. So through the training, can let them know more about the communities. So I think uh, now we have conducted uh, more than uh, 11 training calls to them. Uh, and we have now more than 900 uh, trainees.